This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I am Clary. Are you excited to join this 3-minute max filled with dazzling tips and techniques in Adobe Illustrator? Let me show you how to create this amazing text effect starting from two lines of text and a circle. To start, press the letter N on your keyboard to select the pencil tool and draw a line in the middle of the circle. Now press the letter V to activate the selection tool and click and drag over the circle and the path to select them both. To split the circle in two parts along the path, head over the Properties panel under Pathfinder, click on the three dots to show more options, and click on Divide. Use the Shift-Ctrl-G shortcut on Windows, that's Shift-Command-G on a Mac, to ungroup the two sides. You can now drag each line of text over each shape. And make sure that your text is sitting below the shape with the shortcut Control shift left bracket on Windows, that's Shift-Command-Left-Bracket on a Mac. Now, select first the top line of text and the top half of the circle, and choose Object, Envelope Distort, and Make with Top Object. Repeat the same for the bottom half. This is already looking pretty awesome, but let me spice it up a little more. Let's replace the original text by pressing the letter T on the keyboard to activate the Type tool. Now click over each line of text, double-click to select it, and type anything you want. When done, press the Escape key. Let's group the graphics using the Ctrl G shortcut on Windows, that's Command G on a Mac, and now hold the Alt Option key while you click and drag to create a copy. Let's resize the copy proportionally by dragging one of the corners of its bounding box by holding the Shift key. You can also assign a new color to the text by heading over to the fill and stroke control and double clicking on the fill icon to select a color of your choice. Then click on OK. Repeat the same action for the other text group. When done, head over to the toolbar and click once on the blend tool to activate it. Then click once on the first group and then on the second one to create a blend. Now double click on the blend tool to open the blend options and set the spacing to specified steps. Use a number of your choice and press OK. You will be able to access and edit the blend options at any time. Now reposition the groups by selecting the one you would like to move to a new location. To add the final touch, create a copy of the larger text by double-clicking on it to select it. Then use the Ctrl-C shortcut on Windows, that's Command-C on a Mac to copy it and paste it to the back by pressing Ctrl-B on Windows, that's Command-B on a Mac. Choose Object, Expand, and now click on OK. Head to the Properties panel and set the Stroke, Cap and Corner to Round, and the Stroke and Fill color to White. And we're done! Have fun creating!